wanted to share the process for preparing this uh, the silicon wafer. So here we have the silicon wafer. And I'm going to put down a little silver paste here. To our copper backing. And since both sides are polished, I don't think it matters. So I'm just going to put one surface down. And I'm going to go and rotate the, the copper so we've sort of spread the paste somewhat evenly around the wafer. So we got our two inch silicon wafer with copper back plate with sil silver pasted. And all right, I'm going to pop in the chamber and I'm not going to, I'm not going to put the chimney on so you can see the plasma around the silicon um, and on the silicon surface. All right, about to begin running another mica sample. For about 50 micron. I'm on my final deposition for the mica samples. So this chamber seems to be sputtering uh, with pretty stable plasma. Got about uh, 200 milliamps. And since our um, kilovolt gauge it's kind of hard to get the resolution. I hooked up another um, voltmeter here across the chamber. Uh, this voltmeter has a thousand volt scale and it looks like I'm reading 400 volts across our vacuum chamber.
All right, just completed my last sample, I'm venting the chamber. a sheet with the deposit of silicon on it. For comparison, this was our first mica sample with 10 minutes of sputtering. And this is our final sample with an hour of plasma sputtering. And we'll just package all these up in our holder, and that completes this project. Well, one thing that is worth noting is I did notice after post uh, sputtering, I'm seeing some of this interesting uh, kind of texturing that appears on the mica. It also occurred, this is the one hour sample that was processed. Sort of a, maybe a blistering, different layers in the mica. So. Interesting to note. And that's the final. Uh, look at the wafer sputter target.